Next up, we got Ravens mic'd up. Or actually, Roquan Smith the mic'd up. Now, people are saying Roquan Smith is the next. Let me know in the comments. Roquan Smith is the next blank. Feel the blank. I'm seeing Ray Lewis. Best in the league. It was like saying, who better, Fred Warner or Roquan Smith? Let me know in the comments, all right? So, hey. More Ravens videos. Hit that like button and subscribe button. Land oh, also, too, it's 43 minutes. 43 minute video. We're only going to make, oh, we're going to make two parts of this video. If y'all do a like, subscribe, or go, I mean, like, go. If this video get, let's get 100 likes. 100 likes on this video. I'll see you part two. You know what I'm saying? You're going to start doing that more. I like this video. This group is together, Part two. and this group has been working so well. Okay. And the chemistry is there. It's one of one. So let's not take this first one for granted. In any war, oh, put your back to mine and put my back to yours. Let's do what we gotta do. This particular group in January hasn't had that success yet. The Ravens' defense is your worst nightmare. You're about to get punched in the face for 70 plays in a row. That's intimidating. I don't feel pressure uh, at all, but some do say pressure burst pipes and make diamonds. You know, I know a lot of guys in there like diamonds, so I would say we're in a diamond making business. Uh, okay, okay, he's okay that's sweet. He's electric. I don't think he's even approached his ceiling for the quarterback that he's become this year. People go, well, his numbers versus 29. Now, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about uh, this new game, Ravens versus Chiefs. Now, that's going to be a great game. <laughs> Ray versus Chico be the game of the year. I'm calling it right now. If it's not the Lions versus the, versus the uh, 49ers, it's going to be the Ravens versus Chiefs. Just because those are both high scoring offices. You know what I'm saying? Let me know y'all predictions, bro. Let me know y'all predictions. Now, <sighs> Lamar Jackson wasn't running that much throughout the season. He did here and there, but he was really throwing a ball, which is good. He was throwing a ball. You know what I'm saying? Now, he was running a lot versus the Texans, which kind of threw me off because I'm like, damn, he wouldn't do this all season. Now he's doing it. Okay. So yeah, let me see how y'all feel. Do y'all want y'all want him to run more or y'all want him to throw? Which one? Or, or a healthy Number. balance of both. Which one? I, play with I don't know. Don't forget what it took us to get here. He said, uh, worst take in history. <laughs> w joke. W joke a little bit. W joke. Wind swirling on a frigid cold Saturday in Baltimore. I'm coming. There you go. We need more of that. We need more just like that. It is the intensity of a divisional for nice game stand. that you would expect. From the first step to the last step, we gonna let them know exactly what they are. Crowd under pressure, likely stiff arms and steps up, fires. Lamar's in. Touchdown Ravens. They're gonna have a chance. Penny ran right to the. <laughs> bro, where did he go, bro? We still try to find where he went. Where did he go? We don't know where he went, bro. I ain't seen him for the rest of the game. <laughs> Oh, this is a movie right here. Seconds left. Oh, this is a movie. And week 18 will end the same way week 5 did. Pittsburgh 17, Ravens 10. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the way you fall all year. I'm proud of who you are. I'm proud of what you did out there today. Okay? Yeah, we'll learn some things from today. Things about football that you always learn. We agree with that. We'll look at this game. We'll study it. We'll, we'll say, hey, you know what? This is where we got to get better. We, we, we know how you do football games, you know? So we didn't do what you need to do when a football game did. But we did fight our asses off. About the season right now this is we said we were going to write our story remember all right you wrote your story the final chapter of the regular season is written all right there's a period on it all right you earned the right to write two more chapters as i see this next week which is preparation week for the playoffs have a great week we're going to write that story first what kind of week are we going to have in preparation and then the divisional week in game we got those two guaranteed and we will write them all right? And if we run in the right way, we'll learn the right to write one more chapter. The AFC Championship game. So I'm going to ask I, you know, I do like that. I do like that. Going week by week instead of like, oh, yeah, we're about to go to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. We, we already, we, anybody who plays, uh, if we go to the 49ers or Lions in the Super Bowl, we're going to win. Because they really could be having that big ego like that. Because the Wavis is a, that good of a team. You know what I'm saying? To think like that. So I like that. Week by week, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, ain't anything promised in the, in, in the NFL. Especially ain't anything promised in the, in the playoffs. Ain't nothing promised. Nothing. You don't know what can happen. The AFC Championship game. 
So I'm, I'm gonna All right, ask, buddy. I'm going to call it up. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to say, I, I wrote it down. That's what gonna, the question I'm going to ask you, and I want an enthusiastic response. And you know what the question is going to be. Because what you've done, the story you've written right now, is you walk out of here with, uh, you say, it, chin up, chest out. That's how you should walk out of here. Chin up and your chest out and know what you've accomplished, right? All right? All right, so bring it in. Here's my question. Here's my question. Who's got it better than us? No! Okay. Eleven. Oh, so they got the whole week. Oh, oh, that's why it's so long. We are preparing. We'll talk a little bit about that. Megan, you got some stuff from? Oh, the lady first and Lamar Jackson. That's my teammate. Wait, hold on. That's my teammate. Job. He talked about where we're at. We all know where we're at, but he did a great job explaining. He said, he said you got to be excited. Be so, excited. CJ? And you do got to be excited. I mean, we are excited. When a team meets in the spring, the initial goals are laid out, and it starts with the work they put in in the spring, and then into training camp, and then into the regular season. But the ultimate carrot at the end of all this work is getting to the Super Bowl in Las Vegas and then winning a Super Bowl. And I think what this Ravens team has done has married the vision of the future and what they want to accomplish with an obsession with the present. When you win, and you win in the fashion they have against the opponents they have, especially down the stretch, expectations follow. And expectations can equate pressure in a lot of situations. And I think there's absolutely pressure on this Baltimore team with the amount of talent they have the staff that they have supporting them, that the expectation is that they are the team that should represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. They say pressure makes diamonds, right? And all year we've been against pressure. You know, you talk about the traveling back and forth to the West Coast, playing on Christmas, New Year's, uh, going to London, having a late bye week. Everything that they've thrown at us, we've sat there and we've took it on the chin and we've, we've answered the calls. We say stay loose and stay focused for a reason, right? Because that's who we are. That's who we are as people. That's who we are as teammates, brothers, and, and coaching staff. It's the same every week. Like, go out, execute, play hard, and just play Raven football like Coach Harbaugh said. Nobody says I'd rather play this team or I want to play that team. All the teams are good. All the teams are challenging. All the teams can, we can beat them and they can beat us. But we're not okay. afraid of anybody. And we're going to have to be at our very best to win that game, but we want that challenge. Okay, okay. W coaching, W coaching. The 2019 Ravens were a train moving downhill, and you saw it early in the season after a few bumps in the first few Mark games, Ingram. all of a sudden. Hey, whatever happened to Mark Ingram? You know, honestly, bro, me personally, I really didn't like Mark Ingram, bro. Well, I wouldn't say I didn't like Mark Ingram. Let me rephrase it because it sounds bad. I just don't like, it's just sometimes, down running backs or uh, which how do you call it? Just power running backs. They be like boring to watch. That's what I say. It's just not entertaining to watch somebody just only get two, three yards of play. And you know what I'm saying? I just like fast running backs, bro. I like I like you know what I mean. Especially me being a running back. And I just feel like too, it's kind of like a uh, people used to try to classify me as a running back like this. That's another thing. People try to classify me as a running back just power. No, bro. I can do anything. I can run past you. I can run through you. It don't matter. So I think that's really what it is. Um, and Mark Ingram kind of like, he a good player though, he a good running player. Running game clicked and Lamar this Jackson boring, was a rocket a ship. But along the way, now with hindsight, you could see that there was almost an enjoyment in the moment and the spotlight and all the attention that came with it that possibly could have worked against them in the end. The difference I see in this team, while there's only nine members of that 2019 team that are a member of the 2023 Ravens, this group seems hardened by that, the staff, which sets the message there are scars from that year that i think have been valuable for this team as they've navigated the year because they haven't been as dominant in some ways as they were in 2019 but they come into the postseason with the same seed the same opportunity and i think they'll be better for it as they try and rectify what didn't happen in 2019. the job isn't done until it's done um it's easy to get complacent sometimes when you have some success when we ain't accomplished anything yet Let's, let's stay focused, stay locked in, take the smiles off your face, and let's stay uh, locked in on this, on this job that to do. The bye week is massive, in part because of rest, in part because you only have so to potatoes. win two games to get there. So that to have to, uh, winning in the NFL every week, I don't care who, is really hard. So 
to have to do that one less time is huge. Rest is huge. I understand the idea of rust, but if you know that you're looking to rest. avoid it, do what oh, is yeah, ever rest. necessary during the practice week and during your time off to get yourself in a mental and physical state where you're hitting the ground running in that divisional game. You yeah. can't say I had a week off and that's why we lost this game. Right, exactly. Because that was a big thing for sure. Hey, I ain't bro. All right, man. You guys know what time it is, baby. It's time, dog. All the guys done put in is for this moment right here. It ain't, ain't nothing different. We ain't got to do nothing different. We just got to play our game, bro. Fundamentally sound, right, like you guys been doing. Play physical bottom. I'm just, just watching the games over the weekend. Honestly, the most physical team won. Like, you know what I mean? I know it's blowouts and big, you know, whoever was the most physical team won, man, and, and didn't give away the free play. So that's what type of time it is. That's what we got to do, bro. And then right here, man, bringing this quote back right here. I like this right here. In any war, you put your back to mine, I put my back to yours. Let's do what we got to do. That's what it is, bro. It's us versus the world. That's the type of mindset you guys been having. And that's the type of mindset we're going to continue to carry, man. Have each other's back out there. What's having each other's back? Doing my job. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It be so irritating in class, bro. Because y'all know I'm in college right now. It be like, bro, it be some people who just can't stop moving. Like, bro, it's always, especially when the whole class is quiet, trying to listen to the teacher. And then somebody keep moving and keep making fidgeting or somebody keep talking. It's like, bro, oh my God. Like, I know you don't care about your education, but I, I care about mine. <laughs> All right, I care about mine. I, like, come on, man. My, trust my teammates. Yeah, I'm recording. Getting fixed and then practice on the sideline, right? And then cutting the loose. ADHD kid, football. that's what I'm saying, that's bro. Big point, like Mike said, bro. Start fast. Let's start fast, bro. Let's get the crowd into it. Let's start fast. Let's hit these dudes early. Let's be off. Hey, early. Drinking water. Let's start he can't stop. Today, Let's start <laughs> Today. It's going to be fast, fast. <laughs> be inside, all right, boom, you know, the reps not going to be a lot, let's work on our angles, communication, let's go ahead and do it now, man, bring our energy, focus, and effort for the first snap to the last snap, <laughs> fundamentals. W editing it now, for sure. Oh, copyright, copyright, copyright. Copyright, Co copyright, copyright, uh, copy. Ooh, the black jerseys look hard. I ain't gonna lie. That Reason is hard. why this team is 13 and four in the number one overall seat because there have been lulls, there have been ups and downs offensively for good reason. Injuries have hit them in a lot of ways over the course of the season. This defense, while they've also had to manage their own health, has been as consistent as any unit in the league, and that's why they're a historic unit with what they've done statistically. This defense is special. In a, in a town that is built on defense, this one goes down right there, especially if oh. they can finish the job well, with the in. one that won a Super Bowl <laughs> way back. Well, now, like then, they're relentless. I mean, Ray Lewis was one of a kind. Ed Reed was one of a kind. Terrell Suggs was one of a kind. These players here, watch them. I was wondering where I knew him from. Nah, nah, it's all coming to me. ESPN, right, right, okay. Cause this dude look familiar, and his voice sound familiar too. Suggs was one of a kind. Okay. These players here, know. watch that. We have the Ravens culture. This isn't something from like 1970 we heard about from our dads. <laughs> you saw it, young. And we're honored to be part of it, and we want to live up to that. So that's part of it. The rest of it is, they're as sharp out there as, as any team in the league, and they love doing it. The Ravens defense is your worst nightmare because we have a bunch of crazy dogs are ready to hunt every day. So when you have that together in a great pack, you know, it's, it's hard to stop. There's a lot that you have to like intellectually think about on top of like you're about to get punched in the face for 70 plays in a row. That's, <laughs> that's intimidating. Uh -uh. Accidents never happen if there's reason for our purpose. That's some W tunes, but y'all you know, man. Hey, bro, don't be mad at me, man. Don't be mad at me, bear. It's like you have to make the most of this. You never know when it's gonna happen again. And Wait, Richard? the group of guys that we have, you know, let's try to win every single game we possibly can, and you know, bring a championship back to the city. Can't even recognize what I accomplished, cause I'm still not in everyone's top ten. I really try to think, like, how can you... Bank Stadium. 
on a brutal cold Saturday afternoon in Baltimore. Here you but go. A crowd of 70,000 will turn out and hopefully keep this place. Here's about to be a kick exclusive. <laughs> to a home Ooh. What is it? The Comos de Garçon? I, I forgot what brand this was. Comos de Garçon. This was a. This was a. I ain't gonna lie, I fell off hard. I'm not gonna lie. It was like my 10th grade year. This business came out. You know, so it had the hearts and stuff like that. Now it's gone. I don't know where it went. You know what I'm saying? But look, okay, I like this. It's, it's probably Odell. It's, it gotta be Odell. Yep. It's Odell? To a home AFC championship game for the first time in Baltimore since 1970. Those are the stakes. The stakes since 1970. For the first time. Try to advance to a home AFC championship game for the first time. Oh, the oh so do they have the... Don't forget what it took us to get here. Oh, you never know. have been playing for all year. Hey, don't forget what it took us to get here. Let's lock in. Our opportunity is now. Man, it's warm out here. It's uh -huh. warm, bro. It's hot, bro. You gotta love this the hill, boy. This football weather right here, boy. Another boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love this. Boy. And on the other side of the field, you have the rookie, C.J. Stroud. The one thing I love about him, he doesn't throw Where's interceptions. CJ? This kid has played really smart. He ain't got no interceptions? interceptions. And on the other side of the field, you have the rookie, C.J. Stroud. The one thing I love about him, he doesn't throw interceptions. This kid wow. has played really smart football. All right, it's a little windy out here. It's a little, it's a little windy. Yeah, yeah. It's a little windy. <laughs> Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. About Lamar Jackson, <laughs> how he's played in the previous playoff games. Lamar Jackson is better today. This is the type of Lamar Jackson I think the Baltimore Raven fans can see from here on out. Bro, if we can see a if we can see a Lamar Jackson mic'd up, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That'd be one of the craziest videos of all time, I'm not gonna lie. And Lamar Jackson got a good, great personality too, bro. Jeez. Why you two react to Detroit Lions content layer view so much? Thank you so much, Tommy Chris. Thank you so much, bro. It's kill or be killed. If kill ain't on your mind, do that as long. We try to make history today. Yeah. We're gonna win the game with this group right here. Y'all know how special this group is. We've been special all year. Let's continue to be great. We standing on business each and every step for your brothers, for your coaches. This started way too long ago to go home today, man. I ain't sitting at home, man. So make sure you got that mindset. When you step out here, they ain't gonna give it to you. We got you do what? You gotta drag me off this field. I'll die this one. Hey, look, you see everybody face. I'm like, nigga, what you talk? <laughs> nigga, they like, nigga, huh? But this nigga like, huh, 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 nigga, huh? <laughs> oh, this nigga funny. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yo, all right, buddy. Dang. Dominate on two, dominate on two. Yeah, this nigga is tripping. Dominate on two, dominate on two. Fans filing into the stadium. Energy is building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stay deep, stay sticky. One of four teams left. Playing for a trip to the Lombardi Trophy this year in Las Vegas. The stage is set, the stakes are high, and we are just about ready to kick it's it off. It's at 1970. Let's That's go, kind let's of crazy. Go. Let's go, let's go. La la la. Cheers. Yeah. Tucker approaches the ball, and the divisional playoff game is underway. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go, fellas. Fans on their feet. 
Not a soul sitting down. This crowd is jacked up. Crowd throws quickly near side. Nico What's up, Steelers? Up, but he'll be hit after a short gain. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. I ain't gonna lie, he do remind me of Ray Lewis though. The the and I, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't seen I've heard about his name. I'm not gonna lie. I think he knew, right? Isn't he new chat? I think he knew. Um but he got he remind me like with the, the motivational speeches, the drive, you know what I'm saying? Cause just from that speech I can tell who he is, bro. And then this clip right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He a little crazy. I told you about these these linebackers. They're a little crazy in the head. I'm telling you. They're a little crazy, bro. They're a little crazy. And you you literally have to be a little crazy to play linebacker. You have to be a little crazy. You have to. You have to be crazy. So he fits the description. I'm not gonna lie. I'll start. They got you, big dog. You can't do hurry up if you're lying. Don't know the call. Third down and ten on the opening drive. Blitz pressure coming up the middle. Stroud under pressure escapes the pocket, scrambles forward, and dives down shy of the first down. No, no, no. You put on no, followers, no. chat only. Just in case y'all uh, troll. Troll again go, is going back off the. Going back off screen. Way to be sticky, boy. What's up, Emar? Let's go do it again. Let's go do it again. Let's go do it again. We got some dogs, bro. They're hungry. CJ Stroud empties the back. I don't like him, bro. I don't like him. Pressure off the edge. Stroud throws it incomplete. That's Throwing to the ground. That's crazy. The officials are going to confer on that. No receiver. That's grounded. That's grounded. That's grounded. <laughs> no one was there. No one is there. <laughs> there is hey, where is right? Where is he from? Gino. Gino. Good talk, boy. Lamar Jackson, the almost certain MVP of this 2023 season. And now he wants to rewrite his postseason narrative starting today. He comes into today one and three in the playoffs. Damn. My brother? Lamar the play fake, sets his feet, steps up in the pocket, slings across the middle, complete at the Texans 40 yard line. Justice Hill in the backfield. Lamar takes the snap. Blitz pressure coming. Lamar fires far sideline. Caught by Bateman at the 35. Batman. Wrestled out of bounds there. Justin Tucker on for what will be a 53-yard field goal try in a swirling wind. Oh yeah, that was a big. I think, that was a big like 10 yeah. yards. I think. So. Justin Tucker from 53. Kick on the way. from the logo, bro. The distance and it is good. Tucker puts the Ravens on the board first. It really blow my mind how the literally the Ravens have literally all aspects of an offense, and it come down to special teams. Like, bro, this is amazing. All right now, please don't tell me that the scoreboard gonna be on the left side the whole time. Yep, it is. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Also, too, let me know in the comments who y'all, who's y'all predictions. I should have said this earlier in the video, but let me know your predictions um, on the Ravens versus Chiefs game. Let me know how y'all feel, uh, who going to win, you know what I'm saying? Let me know y'all score. What's the score prediction? What's the score going to be? You can run a little bit early because, you know, you can hide. There's a couple spots you can hide in. But after a while, all the hiding spots, I'm going to dig this up. And I'm going to go find you in the rat hole, in the rat's nest. You know what I mean? You know when I fox hunt rabbits? Uh, this is what I'm saying, yo, that country shit, bro. Like, yo, this, <laughs> yo, this, this makes good for a, a, a good mic'd up video, though. I so I'm not even mad about it. It's just throwing me off, though. Like, <laughs> and look, you see how he try to, he try to, he try to add on to it. Like, yeah, listen to, yeah, I'm getting snacks. Fox hunting rabbits. Uh, them fox hunting rabbits. Them rabbits running them holes. Hey, them rabbits running them holes. You can only go so far. I'm a dig. <laughs> the fox. <laughs> Yo, what do you think? Cause it's hilarious, dog. Them rabbits running them holes. Hey, them rabbits running them holes. You can only go so far. I'm a dig. <laughs> 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 
Dog, where is he from, bro? We gotta know where he from, bro. We have to know where he from. This dude is funny, bro. That nigga is hilarious. Oh my god. They about to fight? I didn't know that. the gun with the bus to his left fakes the handoff now we'll tuck and run he's at 30 35 40 45 and he's down at the 47 yard line lamar jackson lamar drops the throw steps up taps the ball twice throws it near sideline say flowers makes the catch at the texans 37 yard line that was a really good route by zay flowers ran like he was going to go deep sticks his foot in the ground about 17 yards down the field and comes back to the sideline for Lamar. Sorry, y'all. We ain't got time to play around today. Yeah, no joking around, man. Jack to the throw <laughs> on third down. Pocket collapsing. He escapes. He scrambles to the 10, the 5, and he's down to the 2-yard line. Yeah! Come on, man. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Jeff Edwards alone in the backfield. Off the play fake. Lamar. Steps up, fires, touchdown, Ravens! Nelson Aguilar! And the Ravens are in the end zone for the first time today. A run personnel look, bringing both your tight ends. Good block by my brother. Fullback, and then you play pass across that, and you bring Nelson Aguilar, who's on the right, who lined up on the right side across shallow in front of the linebackers to the other side of the field wide open. All right, we're going to end it right here, y'all. Like I said, if y'all want a part two, I need a hundred likes. Hundred likes. I need a hundred. I need a hundred.